Hey guys, today I'm coming to you from the Gold Coast and it's living up to its name. It's a beautiful sunny day here. I've got a brand new build to take you through today. It's been designed specifically with privacy in mind. So let's go see how they did it. What an entrance, beautiful courtyard, mist, bamboo, very tropical vibes as soon as you walk through the doors. Very cool library area. There are so many knickknacks, things from all around the world, lots of eclectic pieces. You get a sense of how much personality these owners have. Let's go check out the rest. Nice high ceilings. Oh, hello dark moody office this is very cool very regal oh yeah i get stuff done here for sure looking out onto the garden oh okay the mood continues <sighs> very moody very dark very comfy incredible sculptures Black on black kitchen, black fridge, black counters, black microwave, oh, black double sink, black cabinetry, very, very sexy. Oh, black door leading you into this hidden laundry. Back to the garden. Look at this dining area. You've got double doors, you've got double garden. It's very light and breezy here. I love how this feels. There's so much contrast. Very white, very black. Okay guys, let's go upstairs. Master bedroom time, you ready? Look at this, looking out onto that gorgeous courtyard. His or hers? We're gonna get hers. Very cool walk-in robes. Oh, and this is just ultimate game of dress up. Glass drawers. I feel like I'm in a shop. Oh, okay, but wait. Again, with the dark and the moody, this is like a nightclub bathroom. Oh, I'm gonna do it. You know I will. Very good sized tub. I love how dark it is in this bathroom. It is seriously cool. Oh, and we've got showers over here. Would you look at the size of that shower head? That's insane. And not only one, but two, you can high five your mates. Yeah. Okay, so you've got a second living area up here very different to the one downstairs. This is very light, very bright. Oh, we've got another bathroom. Again, oh wow, okay, this one is stunning. Similar to the master, very moody. Again, you've got a really good sized tub. Ooh, and I love the concrete detailing as well. Guest bedroom. I love that sunlight coming in. Gorgeous pop of the view. What? Oh my goodness, would you look at this? Someone likes their toys. Oh my God, I can't get in. Ah! <laughs> Let's get Siri. Oh my gosh! Oh, what? Oh no way, this is... That is weird. games in here. Oh, that's a challenge. Let's go back downstairs. Make a cup of tea. Oh, 
So I said this home was all about privacy and it is exactly that. You walk through here and you feel like you're in your own tropical oasis. What they've done to achieve that, they've actually built at the front of the block. So that means that they've allowed plenty more room for the gardens and the whole home to be centralized around that courtyard area. On the other side of that courtyard, they've also got really high bamboo and that's only gonna grow even higher. So they've created their own perimeter around the block and it's incredibly spacious and most importantly, private. All of the rooms are actually centralized around that courtyard and there's a really incredible flow. There's a lot of airflow coming through here and actually there isn't any air conditioning either. So the whole home has been designed to breathe. It is very moody. There is a lot of black in here. There's also a lot of white as well. So there's a lot of really sharp high contrast. There's beautiful pieces of greenery littered throughout. It's a very happy plant home and I love that. The interiors are really interesting to me. There's a lot of personality in this home. There's a lot of kind of dark, moody, glitzy, very kind of nightclub Gold Coast, which is cool. But then there's also this other side, which is very cultural. You've got a lot of pieces from Malaysia and it just has these two different sort of sides to the interiors as well. And the interiors actually reflect the owners themselves because one being from Malaysia and one being from the Gold Coast, they've kind of fused that together and created some kind of like, how should we say, cultural nightclub. Can I say cultural nightclub? I just did. That's what this home is. I love it. There is just so much quirk and so much random and so much fun in this house as well. That kitchen is pretty impressive. I mean, it is insane how black everything is, but it does totally work. There are two levels to this home. On the bottom level, it's very dark. It's very moody. There's a lot of black walls. There's a lot of black cabinetry. And when you go upstairs, it's completely different. It's very light. It's very bright. It's very airy. So you kind of got a top deck thing going on. The thing about this when you have so much dark interiors is it does need to be softened. And they have managed to soften it with those beautiful light textural curtains and also the greenery. The greenery through this home is truly, truly beautiful. And it really does add heaps of life to this home. It just takes the edge off all of that black. I was speaking to the owners about this build and this was the first build they'd ever done. They purchased the land, but they really wanted to create a custom designed home. When they started, they had big grand plans. I mean, there was a five car garage to start with, but when they were working with the architect, they really nutted out what they actually needed and they've really done a great job of maximizing this space and also again, making sure it was incredibly private. The reason they wanted to make sure it was incredibly private is because you never know what's gonna happen with your neighbors. You don't know if they're gonna go up or down or around, so they wanted to make sure they created this really beautiful cave-like home and that's exactly what they've done. They also spend a lot of their time at home because they do work from home. So if you're at home 24 seven, you have to make sure that you love your interiors. And so this home really works for them. So they've got that office, which is an incredible place to work. It would be very productive in there. There are lots of different pockets of this home that you can hang out. So you're not gonna get bored. There is a beautiful flow, everything opens up. But then again, if they wanna shut it off, if it gets colder in winter, not that it gets that cold up here, in winter but anyway they can shut it all off and they can create a really cozy atmosphere and they can do that with the help of those curtains as well what i love most about this home is the way it's been designed around privacy but at the same time it's incredibly open hey guys thanks for watching let me know what you thought of this home in the comments below like share subscribe because we've got way more home tours coming We should get these for at home. Then I might actually like to clean. Don't know why I've become a dancer. <laughs> All of a sudden, it's this duster.